And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some more Jund Reanimator. This was one of the very first throwback Thursday decks we made a few weeks ago and I really enjoyed playing it and it felt like it had some really good synergies and so I wanted to play it again and uh, we were talking about the deck a little bit yesterday in chat and made me want to play it again. Um, and so that's what we're going to do. So what, what, our, what our deck's doing is we are mostly all creatures here. As, as you can tell. So like what we're doing is we're just uh, all about the battlefield, just trying to get a lot of creatures out there and um, and take over the battlefield. But while we're doing that also, we're focused on the graveyard. So we have our early plays of like Remadi Reveler that puts a card in the graveyard and draws us a card. Glowspore Shaman mills over some cards and can help us fix our, our uh, mana base by putting a land back on top if we need a land because our mana is pretty rough here with double green, double red, triple red, triple black. Our mana's pretty rough. And that's why we're not playing any basics. We have a, a Bloodfell Caves in here for our 17th black and 17th red source and just going with the <clears throat> the 16 of everything with all the duels and then the extra Bloodfell Caves because I want an extra black and an extra red with having the two Cavaliers. But anyway, um, Branch Walker, of course, doing Explorance. Like, all of our two, two mana creatures can all kind of help fix the colors of our mana in a different way you know like <clears throat> if we need a certain color of land we can uh, discard a card to reveler and look for whatever type of land and, and so on branch walker explorers shaman can so that's that's like our setup and then we have uh, jade light which is some more setup really in the three mana slot midnight reaper is some card advantage embodiment of agonies usually isn't really a three drop it's usually a card for later but we have the setup then we have our mid game with either our removal with Chubacabra or Rowdy Crew. Um, this card was pretty impressive last time. I thought about maybe replacing it or, or cutting it, trimming it back a little bit or any, something, but decided to keep all four of this card in because, um, so it says, you know, it enters the battlefield, you draw three, then discard two cards at random. So you are netting one card. So it is, you know, a, a four mana creature that does draw you a card. So, you know, that's our, you know, like that's, if you kind of think of, a uh, four mana creature that draws a card, um, like elite card mage from like the Esper deck. So, you know, it is doing something like that. But then it, it actually helps a little bit more than just drawing one card because uh, it does help put cards in the graveyard too, which our deck uh, values cards in the graveyard because the more cards in the graveyard, the better our embodiment of agonies is, blood for bones, um, and then our cavaliers as well. So I, I like it. So we're keeping all of them in here. Um, and then yeah, we have we have our both of our cavaliers at the top end are both going to be pretty impactful cards here for us. We got the Cavalier of Knights and the Cavalier of Flames. Um, you know, knight, you know, whenever it dies, we return a creature card with CMC three or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. Our main target for that, of course, is going to be the embodiment of agonies. This is as we were talking about yesterday with this card, this is just a pretty underrated card in my opinion, and a, a card that uh I really like it's it's frequently like a four four five five six six you know it can get in it can get really big sometimes it's seven eight nine it it can get just be a huge creature for only three mana uh, later on in the game when you have six mana you can like double spell with it and something else like very very easily well even like five mana like playing that plus a two drop and yeah you get it back with cavalier knight after you've been milling over a bunch of cards just a really impactful card and i like this one quite a bit um, and then besides that, we want to be filling our graveyard with lands. That's the other thing. So like if we discard a couple of lands to Rowdy Crew or, you know, milling over lands because Cavalier Flames has that awesome die trigger, um, however many lands you have in your graveyard it deals that much damage to each opponent and each planeswalker they control. A lot of good synergies in this deck. It's all, uh, all has the blood for bones in it. That's what we're kind of naming it. Reanimator. It didn't really have like a good name for this, you know, like Jund Midrange. I don't know. So like we're going Jund Reanimator because Blood for Bones is our engine card to just uh, go along with all this stuff. Hey, what's up, Storm? So let's give this a try. Let's see how it does. We're just gonna play some leagues today. Yeah, let's play some leagues today. See if we get some five win leagues today. 
No, yeah. So the embodiment is only only CMCs, so lands do not count towards it. Yeah, lands don't have a CMC. But as you can tell, most all of our deck is either lands or creatures. So a lot of times Rowdy Crew can be a five. Well, I don't know about a lot of times, but there's a good chance that Rowdy Crew gets the extra two counters and turns into a 5-5, five five, um, which is a whole lot bigger than a 3-3, three three, of course. So we really wanted to get those two counters. So we really want to either discard two creatures or discard two lands a lot of the time with Rowdy Crew. Don't think we want to keep just two Dragon Skull Summits for our only two lands. So we'll ditch that. This is perfectly fine. We'll get rid of the, the Bloodfell Caves. And keep the other four lands and maybe discard a land as well to the Reveler. Looks like we got Azorius Skies for our matchup here. Let's discard Doom Whisper. So we can Blood for Bones and put Doom Whisper into play. Main deck, Sir Eulendrake. Alright. Alright. That's how you want life to be. Yeah, I think the best non-aggro... So the best non-aggro budget deck... Yeah, I would... Yeah, Demir Control is a pretty good one. That's a pretty good option there. Well, this is a pretty awesome hand for our opponent there. GG's. All right, so we're going to get games two and three. Let's get this Chupacabra, this Plague Mare. Plague Mare it looks to be perfect. Masker Girl is a little slow. Same with, like, Finality. Masker Girl is a little slow, but I think it's probably still worth it. We can get rid of Midnight Reaper. We need to cut at least one... Five drop, which I guess is going to be a flame. Maybe even cut a knight also. We'll just cut fine finality. Man, the finality part could be nice. I trim some crews. Um, with them being just all in the air. Probably one of these two mana creatures. Having all the legions ends in here. I guess that'd be Glow Spore Shaman. I don't know anything about Golos Gates. Ugh. I guess it's better than five, I guess. Has the Remodi Reveler to help us look for black mana. Embodiment's nice if we could, you know, actually, if we actually had black mana. start to the day this is the kind of day we had yesterday <laughs> didn't want to have this kind of day again today uh, it's too early for this
Okay, well, that was a match, I suppose. Go to the next one. All right, more mulligans. Go to five. And this is the, just the same thing we had last time. I don't think we go to five. Again, winning on five cards is not easy. What we need to do is draw one one black source, which we have more black sources than other colors. Like, will we have black and red are tied for the most? There we go. Didn't draw that last time, but because then then glow spore should be able to help out find another should be able to help find another one. Yeah, this is Jondry Animator that we are currently playing. All right, none of those is black sources, so I'm not not taking the other stomping ground. But that was like. You know, basically scry three for for black source. So that was a pretty effective glow spore shaman. Yeah, we gotta shake off that bad luck from yesterday. Haven't shaken it quite yet. Maybe we need a new avatar. Looks like Vanifar is not helping today. I think we did lose all of our matches after our switch to Vanifar yesterday also. Come to think of it. I think we were 0-3 last night with Vanifar. Yeah, definitely need to change Avatar. So we're 16 cards in. We've still only seen one black source. There's 16 other black sources in the deck. We'll start finding those eventually. Oh, that was a well-timed find finality. So, Nickelly, find broker only gets permanent cards. So they can't find broker back trophy or find. Think if like you could find broker back find and then be able to keep casting and recasting find broker back and forth. That would be pretty crazy. Okay, let's Hmm. I guess I could just play We'll attack here. Could just play the 4 4 flyer. I do want to have Chupacabra still for Ooze.
but we're, we're gonna go with the crew just makes embodiment better I'm pretty certain they have like removal here so I don't really necessarily want to just throw down embodiment all right not spectacular getting rid of chupacabra that just happens though we traded Chupacabra for a Branch Walker and a Jade Light. There, that was our trade. And also have the Agonies be too bigger whenever we play it. This Cavalier Knight for that Biogenic Ooze. Well time trophy. I'm not sure if I was supposed to attack with the Rowdy Crew the previous turn just to trade with. An ooze token. I think we trade this. Now Cavalier Knight dies. We're gonna bring back Embodiment. Ugh, we have another find. We're just never gonna be able to get rid of this Biogenic Ooze, are we? Basically, just hope they don't have another removal spell and that Embodiment can finish this game off in two turns. Hey, Jason. That's a good sign. Also a good sign, no removal. No, that's removal. That's the worst of signs. Crews have been good though. I know Jade Light looks for something right away, but we're going to be getting taken over by these. I didn't live through hell to lose to. Sometimes rest mm. let's do this again. I guess they still had removal in hand also. So 
Biogenic Ooze card is pretty good. The ooze just get bigger. Could have been just a little bit of an early concession there. There was still a chance we could win that, I guess. Like Cavalier of Flame, if we would draw that. Very small chance. Need this card. We we're not able to outgrind our opponent that game. Their fine finalities were awesome. We're going to have our an extra fine finality for ourselves. Uh, could have Legion's End for all the ooze tokens. I guess Noxious Grasp is good removal. We have a lot of good stuff for this kind of matchup. I'm going to trim, trim a couple of the Explore creatures. So basically, do I want to play Noxious Grasp? I mean, I already have the Chupacabras, the Cavalier of Knights, Blood for Bones that can recycle everything. I don't think I really want Noxious Grasp. The best thing Noxious Grasp does, though, is get, kill Vivian. Which Vivian can be a problem. Yeah, like, Vivian... Vivian's scary. She's definitely the scariest card we saw there. But then again, I, I want to keep the deck quite creature heavy. I'm just going to keep it as is. Awesome, Lapaka. Glad that that Azorius Flyers is working well for you in best of one. Very good. Lower hand, for sure. Wish we didn't have all tap lands. That's where we're at. We have Reveler is going to discard Reveler. That's the plan here. And then hopefully lead Reveler on three to Rowdy Crew on four. On the draw, I, I probably wouldn't have kept this hand, but kept it on the play. Okay, could go Glow Spore also. Yeah, I like Glow I like starting with Glow Spore. So when you make a decision like with. Remodi Reveler, it's always good to have more information when you're making a decision. So I guess they have some instant. Wow. No land. I'm glad we lead or led. Glad we led with the shaman. Clear out those spells. Because again, I would like to play crew next turn, but we have to draw a shock land to do that. Which 
we did not. Hmm. Hey, Caesar. So that's seven cards with no lands for us there. Keeping our opener. Yes, I can play either one. Um, old people. And you just have to uh, send a link to the deck. So easiest way to do it is just by publishing the deck on any site that you publish decks on. Like, for example, MTG Goldfish there. Um, and... And yeah, just just send a link to the just send a link to the deck, like with the donation. Tell me what day and what time slot you'd like me to play the deck as well. Um, yeah, our mono black vampire deck. It that was a donation deck sent in by a viewer yesterday. It's it's basically mono black mid range, but I didn't really want to call it mono black mid range as well because we you know we just played mono black mid range yesterday. But it's like it has you know so it has a little bit of vampire flavoring in it as well but it's mostly a just a mono black mid-range deck hey link so yeah our opponent's taking up i thought they were playing pretty slow taking up an extra four minutes I don't really want their Chupacabras to die because of the recursion that they have. I'd rather block the Branch Walker. But in a ba battle of creatures, I'd rather be the one drawing Chupacabras than the one not drawing Chupacabras. We have plenty of Chupacabras in our deck as well. But our opponent's done a lot better job of drawing them. Hmm. Discarded double Rowdy Crew. Not ideal. Do not have any basics, unfortunately. Yeah, it's $20 donation, and yep, anytime tomorrow, I'm available there. That would require finding a reanimation spell to be able to reanimate it. Wouldn't be able to play blood for bones next turn okay we do have blood for bones we can't play it next turn because i don't have the mana because <laughs> we've only found tap lands crazily enough uh i guess i guess it's possible we draw a shock land here game right we'll see what can I do so like yeah because I have to block otherwise I'm dead I block here I take nine and I can't play it. like I'm just playing either of those I'm dead so Blech. well basically a green black mirror they had removal I didn't 
they had a bunch of chupacabras. I didn't. Um, cause yeah, I had the three chupacabras. I had a couple of fine finalities also. Cavalier Knights. Man, that was, uh, just not a good showing for the deck. We finally found Blood for Bones, but because we only had tap lands, we couldn't play Blood for Bones that last turn. Bleh. Well... Yeah, I was really looking forward to playing this deck. Yeah, we need to change the avatar. I don't know if I want to go through a whole nother run because that can take a long time. What do we want, like Raska? Step out of the shadows. Why hire Let's go Lily. servants when you can raise more? We'll just play summon ranked with it. We'll just play a match. You know, we'll just play a match over here. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Van Vanifar's cursed. We did switch to Vanifar and lost all five matches. <clears throat> well, like, okay, so if you think about those matches, like, the first match, we were going to have a really good Blood for Bones on turn four, but we were already dead because our opponent had just an, an awesome aggro hand. It's like, that wasn't really the problem of our deck. The opponent had just an amazing hand. And then, yeah, game two. We didn't draw any lands at all. You know, like, mulligan. Our third game was a mulligan. Here we go. We got some lands. Hey, Yun. All right, our deck's doing our land stuff. So, as you can tell, all of our, as I was talking about before, all of our two-mana creatures, they're all designed to help the deck be able to hit the land drops at once. I have triple red and triple black already. I do want a fifth. I do want like this land though. I'm going to go ahead and just take the overgrown tomb. No, might as well just take the rootbound crag. No, I only have double black. Yes, I only have double black right now. So yeah, we'll take this thing. I know I don't have to take a land, but I'm I'm kind of planning on casting finality. And so if we're casting Finality, we're going to need to draw a couple more lands. Which is why I'm taking this land here. No, I have no desire to play. Well, I, I shouldn't say that. Never mind. I'm going to retract that statement. I could see a Lotus Field or two being okay for the deck. Because of the putting lands into the graveyard for the Cavalier of Flames. Mostly for that. That was really unfortunate. I wanted to be able to block the champion of dusk. This is just over. 
Yeah, because they have they can just attack for seven, sack a vampire to Soren and kill me. Ugh. So we had two drop, three drop. Didn't have a four drop, but we had two drop, three drop, and then we're dead before we can play a five drop. And we need like eight ravenous chupacabras. I'm starting to think that three is three chupacabra, three cavalier of knights, not enough. The red cavalier is maybe the best card in our deck. It's like this. The cav this Cavalier completely shines in this deck, but just not these games that we're playing. Um, you know, we're not you know we're not like finding it, but this this card is incredibly powerful in this deck. This is not like a get rid of red Cavalier and turn into a green black deck, in my opinion. This is the payoff for getting a bunch of cards in our graveyard. Now, obviously, against the most aggro decks, your five drop isn't going to be very good. So, yes, you're, it's going to look weaker against the aggro deck. But it's the, the card that gives us that power. Like, against the green-black deck, it was the card I just wanted to see, which we never saw. Second finality. I'll just go with the one find finality. Six mana is a little rough for a sweeper. Shaman doesn't match up too well against the 1-1 one, one vampire. Can block the other vampires a little better. Of course. Why not mold a 5 and then have two creatures get Legion's End? And why not? This is just going to be another day like yesterday where nothing can go right. Uh, no, if the deck is set at private, I will not be able to see it. Thank you for your service. Yes, the best deck in the format is probably faster than our deck. It's a good good observation there. We're not as fast as the best aggro deck in the format. Especially when we're playing five cards. And then immediately get two for one. And then they immediately have the best possible opening with the Soren Champion of Dusk. Nope, our deck doesn't compete with that. 
Hey, Lou. Okay, good. Glad the Sultai Arc Bow deck's working out for you. Glad to hear. The problem is, is like, so I want to, I want to keep playing the decks. I really like this deck. Those games weren't enjoyable at all, though. Didn't get to do anything. I don't know. Might as well just try one more. See if we get paired against Actually, really we'll see if we have a working opening hand. For once, here we go. You can say this is a working opening hand. Hey, track team. Hero. We do, of course, have to have a creature for Blood for Bones. I think it's worth it, though. This is ranked. Yeah, we went 0 2 in a league, and so then I. Now I'm playing a couple of games in ranked. I can no longer stand by and watch. Oh, I've done the hero. So, yes, this is ranked. Right now, it wasn't originally. No, it's not. Uh, Vaughn, it's not hot here. Here we go. Hmm. Guess I should have gone with Glowspore Shaman that second turn to have a better chance of hitting a land. Suppose we can re -moddy. Of course, Glow Spore Shaman does not match up against 1 1 creatures. Uh, getting really punished for discarding the other Blood for Bones. 
Should have kept it and discarded embodiment. Got really punished for discarding that. With that other thought erasure. So that was a mistake by me there. Because of Rowdy Crew keeping the land in hand. Trust me, I have a plan. That card is a reason that I should to play the hand though. No. Alright, we're starting to do stuff. We have one, two. Two lands in the graveyard currently. So these two are th lands three and four. I want to get rid of Jade Light also. No, we'll keep Jade Life. All right, well, Embodiment, Cavalier of Flame did their things. We'll be playing this extra find. It's kind of about it. I could Plague Mare. But Plague Mare is basically only going to be good after they have Hero, and then after Hero makes a good amount of tokens. I mean, at that point, of course, Plague Mare will be good. I think I want to trim a Cavalier of Night. I don't want Legion's End. I guess maybe I should play Noxious Grasps for the walkers. I don't want any Playcrafters in here, do I? I do not. Yeah, Dracuseth just is too reliant on Blood for Bones. Um, you know, we're just a mid-range deck that has, like, the reanimate... Uh, part in our deck as well, but we're not really focused on reanimating. Even though I know that's like the name of the deck, but I didn't really want to just call the deck Jund Midrange. Hello, Ranting Ravager. And Elijah. Yeah, I've played the Minotaur from M I know the one you're talking about, the M20 Minotaur. And it was okay, but not really better than anything we have in the deck. It was okay, but... Yep, yep, we're going to do Chandra Tribal next Tuesday.
Hmm. Just gonna decline. All right, that works. And now Branch Walker finds it. You know, be able to play Branch Walker next turn, find another land, the path, home, and then go with our Cavaliers. Yeah, I'll take a Rowdy Crew. No, I do not think Bag of Holding re will replace Treasure Map as a jank deck fixer. No. I, I don't think Bag of Holding is nearly as powerful as uh, Treasure Map is for those kind of decks. I guess I... Wait, I shouldn't be keeping Rowdy Crew because of Narset, should I? Hmm. I guess Narset is a thing. Of course, we can, uh, dang, hmm, we can discard Cavalier of Flames, but then obviously we don't draw cards, so that doesn't really work either. We're going to have to just do some good old attacking. We know they have a removal spell for Glow Spore Shaman, but that should be it. Because they don't have any other white or black mana, so yep. I still have much to learn. Okay. I have n just one I have one land in my graveyard. Thing is, of course, we know about the time wipe, which is likely for next turn. But if I don't play any creature, if I, you know, so if I just keep the Cavalier of Night, if I don't play a creature, they could also just have Big Teferi and they play Big Teferi and tuck the Cavalier of Night. And that looks pretty bad for me. Instead, we'll have them cast the Time Wipe. They take two. I get Embodiment of Agonies back. Card hits hard, by the way. Hmm. That thing hits pretty hard. You know, I'm definitely hoping not that they won't have another. Um, Sweeper I'm like that. For my excellent fight. Let's try this. Alright, so they must have Tyrant Scorn.
Rowdy Crew. Yeah, get rid of those lands. Good job, Rowdy Crew. The Rowdy Crews have been pretty sweet. I've got time. Yeah, find it can be really good here. Definitely. So do I just want the, like the the red and the black cavalier, or maybe just like red cavalier, doom whisper, double red cavalier? Ooh, double red cavalier is enticing. All right, so my killing to fairy or going after them. It's probably best just to kill to fairy. I know this puts them back up to seventeen. We just want to outgrind them. You just let me know if you're up for round two. How many lands do I got in here? One, two, three. Just three lands right now? Double flame. So I have five. Let's slow this down. Let's take it back. Citadel. Uh, that's a reason. I guess that's a reason not to have their life total be so high. Yuck. Don't know. So, how many lands do we have in here? Three, five, six, seven. I'll show restraint. Seven lands? If they would kill Cavalier Flames, flame. they would die, but unfortunately they have a lot of ways to get rid of it without killing it, as we saw there. Gosh, Bolas' Citadel is so broken. <laughs> we were doing so good until this, this like, million for one. We need to move that Citadel quickly. is. They had no cards in hand. And now at the end of this turn, they have four cards in hand, got rid of both of my cards in play. Okay. Well, we do... We can't make them chump block. They kill either cavalier they're dead they can't really kill the cavaliers so they have to you know like they have the one teferi that the teferi can tuck one hey kilo 
Not so fast. Oh. Obviously, they have a third fairy. Sorry, I'm late. Why not? Time is much more malleable than people think. That's more like it. Keep up the pace. That's a wonderful card for them. That life gain. I'll protect you. Yes. That's exactly what you do, cute old people. So many cards now. Let's skip to the good part. So many cards. Hey, Matthew. I hope that's a good thing. I know my responsibility. Don't worry, I got this. Or just saying, like, yeah, I'm not, yeah, I don't, I'm not playing Team or Extinction today. Arena, stop, come on. Come on, Arena. It's just such a tough spot of like where to like so I could attack them and they could actually just take it and then just you know deal with these you know because they're back up to 12 now I really want to attack the hero of Dominaria but I really don't want to give them even more life Focus and meditate and prepare. Hurry! I've drawn so many cards. All right, perfect. Donation deck for tomorrow, for the last slot. Perfect. Do that. What, what do we have? Rakdos midrange. Okay, cool. Yeah, it looks like a pretty sweet deck. 
There we go. Thanks to that donation deck. All right, we'll get that going tomorrow. So they have four, or no, three. So they have three deputy of detentions. So time wipe, three deputy of detentions, elite guard mages. Didn't see any hero of precinct ones at all, and they've gone through almost all their deck. So why don't they, why don't they sideboard out hero? <clears throat> I think I want more Chubacabra. They're going to be playing all these deputy of detentions. I know Cavalier Knight gets something back, but I don't really like sacrificing a creature. I wonder if I want Rex Age to blow up Oath of Kaya. Yeah, blows up Citadel too. <clears throat> Usually, like whenever they play Citadel, they get all their value like that first turn, like we saw there. We don't really want to just hold it in hand to try to get rid of that. All right, gonna replace a Cavalier of Night with a Chupacabra. They can't get rid of Chupa or uh, Cavalier Knight pretty easily, also without actually killing it, as we have seen. All right, game three. So it looks like, yes, they do have Hero of Precinct 1. To answer that question, they have a bunch of Hero of Precinct 1s. That certainly makes Glowspore Shaman worse. Being able to be blocked by just the one toughness creatures they make. Um... So I think attacking with Glowspore Shaman is just kind of a trap here. You know, I think they certainly have instant speed removal. It's so unfortunate that they had two instant speed removal spells. Really wanted to sacrifice my other three, one to kill a hero. I'm known for my excellent timing. You need to slow that down. went 
pretty horribly for us. Oh, come on! Those two? Those are the two cards I want to discard the least. Uh, man. My next turn, I wanted to play double embodiment. You know what? I'm not done yet. If you wish to keep an open mind. Hero of Precinct 1 is still a heck of a card. Heck of a card. So, you know, we didn't... I mean, I could have had Plague Mirror in my deck. They went through almost like their whole deck game 2 and didn't have... Didn't have hero. We only didn't see 14 cards in their deck. There was no heroes whatsoever. And then it was just hero, hero. That double removal spell. I was prepared for the first one, but the double removal spell really, really hurt. Um... Well, it looks like... I mean... Looks like just <laughs> can't have things go right for us too much. Uh, at least that was a that was just a good match though. You know, like those were three uh, good close games for the most part. Um, you know, I was playing spells, they were playing spells. You know, like that kind of stuff. So, uh, no complaints about that last match. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe they added Hero to surprise me the third game. Like how I saw so much of their deck and then they put them back in. But it doesn't seem like Hero is the kind of card that you'd rather play on the draw. Than on the play, but worked out quite well. So, um, oh well. Um, yeah, I really disappointing. I was really looking forward to this deck. You know, I played it first. Here, I was really wanted to play this deck, like it quite a bit. Um, but you know, just lost all our matches. So that's magic. Anyway, if you're watching later on YouTube, um, oh, it's Heroes Worse on the Play. Okay, it's a better card on the draw. Okay. Um, Deckmaster should be working. Just reload. Anyway, yeah, we'll get, we'll get on out of here. So, yeah, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. But thanks for watching, Jundry Animator, and I'll see you for the next video.